Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us again tonight for another lesson from our Big Ideas, page 128, that's lesson 3.4, where this is going to be our last lesson for unit three on angles and triangles. Today we're gonna use what we learn and apply it to similar triangles to solve real life problems. Our essential question, how can you use angles to tell whether triangles are similar? All right, well, we have to remember that we had to take some notes. We had to take some notes. We had to take some notes from the top of page 128. And the notes from the top of page 128 said, hey, if you have two angles that are congruent from one triangle to another, then the third must be. Therefore, the triangles are similar. That's what it said, in a nutshell. So in other words, it's saying, hey, I have this angle 20, which is congruent to that angle 20. I have this angle 95, which is congruent to that angle 95. Therefore, the third angle must be congruent. So the triangles are similar. So triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. Now it's important to remember, what does similar mean? What does it mean to be similar? We talked about it in our last unit, similar, means two things, three things, I'm sorry, three things. One, same shape. Two, congruent angles. Three, co um, proportional sides. So it's the same shape, all the angles are congruent, and the sides are proportional. So right here, these two triangles, same shape. All three angles, all the angles are congruent, which means those side lengths are proportional. These triangles are similar. So we're going to use that. All we're going to do is identify if, in fact, these triangles are similar or not. OK, so here's what we do. We have to find two angles that are congruent. Because if two angles are congruent, we know the third one's congruent. Therefore, we know the triangles are similar. So we take a look at this right here, and we recognize that we have angle 43. These are the same. We have one. Now we have an angle 58, but the second triangle does not have an angle 58. The second tri has a triangle has an angle of 59, and the first one does not. So we have, we have options. We either need to ask, is x equal to 59? Or is y equal to 58? We only need to pick one triangle and solve for the missing angle, which we learned how to do back in the first lesson of the unit, and figure out if we have two congruent angles. I always like to solve for x, so I'm going to go with this first triangle, and I'm going to say, hey, x plus 43 plus 58 has to equal what? What is the sum of the interior angles for a triangle? That's right, 180. And then we add those together by simplifying. So x plus 100 and 1 is equal to 180. Subtracting 101, we get that x is equal to 79 degrees. So is 79 degrees, oops, seven, I messed that up. Is 79 degrees equal to 59? No. So not similar. Because we did not have two, two angles in these triangles that were congruent. Make sense? Let's move forward. Number two, telling whether the triangles are similar again, we're going to explain. And of course, we recognize that we have angle 52 is equal to angle 52. So I'm going to ask my, excuse me, I'm going to ask myself, is angle X equal to 80 degrees? If it is, I have two 
um, similar triangles. So x plus, I have 52 plus 48, that's equal to 180. Simplify, x plus 100 equals 180. So subtracting the 100, I have x equals 80 degrees. So if I put 80 degrees here, is 80 degrees equal to 80 degrees? Absolutely. So since x is 80 degrees, we have two angles that are congruent. Therefore, y must be 48 degrees. Therefore, yes, we have similar triangles. Moving forward, telling whether these triangles are similar, following the same exact process. Doing it a couple times so that we get it down. Remember, we practice. Some people might say, Mr. Ross, you showed it to me once, I get it. Why are we doing it three, four times? Ladies and gentlemen, just because a musician can play a, a song once doesn't mean they don't practice and practice when it comes to their performance time. What's our performance? It's not a concert. Our performance is the test to show that we really know something. The musician's uh, performance is their concert to show they really know how to play some music. Alrighty, so here we have, well, oh, which, which angles are uh, congruent now? That's right. We have this right angle right here. Those are the same. So I'm asking myself, is X congruent to 47? Are they the same? So I say X plus 90 plus my 43 is equal to 180. And so I simplify, 43 plus 90, x plus 133 is equal to 180. When I subtract my 133, I get that x is equal to 47 degrees. And if x is 47, that means it is congruent to the other 47. So again, yes, these triangles are similar. All right. One more time, doing the same process, deciding are these triangles similar and recognizing that we have two angles that are 28 degrees. So I'm going to ask myself, is X 71 degrees? So I'm going to go X plus 28 plus 80 is equal to 180. X plus 108 is equal to 180. Subtracting 108. I get that X is equal to 72 degrees. And so if X is 72, then no, not similar. Not similar. Just missed it. Because 71 and 72 are not the same. All right? Well, that kind of ends the first video. I know you're uh, bummed about that. But we got our first quick write. So let's give it a shot on our own. We will, of course, go over these in class. Please make sure that you answer them when you're done. Take a quick brain break and then come back and see us for video number two.